are you ruining your impression your reputation and most importantly your relationship by this one mistake with respect to communication then you need to hear this till the end So this is about an aspect which is completely there right in front of you but you might have never noticed it okay because maybe this is not something very prominent it's very subtle but it actually affects your relationship the trust the respect in an unspoken way okay now whether you or somebody else have experienced it or not but i'm sure you have got one person in your entire known circle who is like that okay so have you come across these kind of situations where let's say you are saying something that okay um, you know my mother made amazing meal today and you know we had some guests in home and they loved it so much they just lick their fingers and they ate the entire thing and this and that so you are actually praising about the food and your mother how well it was cooked something now let's say another friend of yours is sitting right there and listening to it and he tells you yes even you know what my sister cooks amazing and i know what you're saying and this and that and let's say next time you say something that okay i actually did this scuba diving experience and uh, this was amazing and i learned this 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 about this thing and something happened and another person again jumps and says yes yes even i did scuba diving it's amazing i know what you're saying and this and that so whatever you say that you are sharing as an information knowledge or experience the other person has the tendency to jump in and say exactly the same thing in a different manner but indicating that hey even i know the same information i know the knowledge and i am as good as it is you are talking about okay so that means what is happening over here is whatever you are sharing the person automatically it triggers the person to be in a zone of either limelight either in a uh, in fear inferiority complex mechanism where the person actually has to share something or show something where the person can hide the inferiority complex third it might also trigger a reaction of um defense mechanism where they want to show that yes i also know this i know better than you or i also know what you are saying so what happens is this person who is continuously doing this as a pattern over and over again knowingly and most most of the time unknowingly they actually lose that trust and respect because the job at that point of time for that person is to listen when you are sharing something okay and same goes the other way round if somebody is saying something any particular thing that the person has achieved experienced or something your job is to shut up and listen okay your your job is not to jump in it and compare yourself validate and show how big you are so the, this is one of the most crucial thing you might be seeing it happening all around and you have also people in your network who does this unknowingly but it hampers the relationships in such a damaged manner you can't even imagine because next time what happens you don't sh start sharing things in front of that person and next time what happens is you don't feel comfortable with that person into sharing these things okay so you might also have seen even for the slightest of the things the person actually starts again comparing and sharing these things so let's say you say wow i made cake for the first time and it turned out to be amazing and the person again jumps yes i also make very good cake one day i will share with you and you know instead of appreciating and being in the present moment and actually listening to what you are saying about your experience the person is all about himself or herself so this is a classic example where unknowingly people ruin relationships with the trust the respect and this might be happening with you as well or with people in your network so if you feel like this is something you need to come out with first identify that this is a pattern i do it or the person does it knowingly or knowingly second thing 
accept I need to change it. This is not helping me. Okay. And the third is implement. Implement what? Implement a new way of handling things. Let's say somebody is sharing something. Appreciate the person. Be in the present moment. And most importantly, shut your mouth. You don't have to share your experience. You don't have to compare yourself to anybody or anything. So when somebody is sharing about their experience, knowledge or information, listen. You don't compare. Listen, congratulate, appreciate and maybe later on at some other point of time, you can share your this experience as well, but not in the context where it feels like you're comparing with the other person and you are actually feeling um, threatened by the other person. So all in all, if you know somebody in your network who is like this, you can share this video so that it helps them identify it and be better in terms of communication because communication is not your pronunciation or how well you speak. It's about a lot of things, right? Communication is a huge topic. So if you have been doing it unknowingly, this is a good opportunity for you to actually notice it and change it. So see you soon in the next video. I hope this helps. And if you have some kind of amazing experience like this, do share it in the comment and thank you so much.